My name is Tracy Collins and I'm the CEO for Cincinnati Area Senior Services. So the services that Cincinnati Area Senior Services offers are we have a financial management services which we call representative payee. So we can work with those who have difficulty managing their money or those who have difficulty and may have been exploited with their money or even a caregiver who may be aging and who is taking care of someone who has a developmental disability and they're not quite sure what to do as they begin to age and so our agency can fill that void or, or fill that gap as they're beginning to plan. So we try to describe it as putting everything that you manage in your life financially and putting into a bag and handing that over to us. And so we can either do a little bit or do all of that. We become the financial power of attorney for that individual and we become the payee and we manage all of their benefits. We develop a budget with them. We help them shop and try to figure out the best way to manage the resources. We help them pay their rent and their utilities. And that's the, the service that I think of the most that would be helpful. We also coordinate transportation services and can coordinate any in-home care services. We don't provide health care services, but we can be that broker for those in-home services like home health aides, um, homemaking, personal care services. We do provide transportation services and we can coordinate those transportation services and try to align what are the best benefits for those services. So what benefits can we tap in to get those services paid for? Because private transportation can be very expensive. Um, we also have um, in the community both congregate meals where they can go get a meal and we also um, provide home delivered meal services so we can assess whether or not they qualify for that services. First for that aging caregiver and also for the person who has developmental disabilities. I can think of a story um, of an individual that probably best um, explains our services. We had a gentleman that came to us. He was a gentleman who was probably, he was, I don't know his exact age, but he probably was in his 80s. He had a son who was in his 50s who um, had some developmental disabilities. And on top of that, he had some pretty significant medical issues. Um, and probably he had some substance abuse issues, um, not typically, not diagnosed, but he suspected he had some substance abuse issues. They had a really hostile relationship because all of their relationship was around the father managing the son's money. And the son really felt like the father was controlling his money and the father was exhausted just absolutely exhausted and really didn't know what to do. So the father came to us along with his, his wife, who was not the son's mother, and said, I don't really know what to do anymore. You know, what can you offer? So we talked about our financial um, case management program. We talked about um, what we could do and how we could help. And he wasn't sure that we could even engage the son to work with us. So I went out with the son with one of our social workers who we explained the services and what we can do. And the son was, um, it was a little bit reluctant, but we said, you know, we can help. We can help with your housing. We can help you get back home. We can help manage that. And one of the neat things about this was we took that battle which, away from the son and the father, and they were, a, a, they were able to be father and son again. They didn't have to be financial, and we didn't have to have that battle. And the son en ended up having multiple strokes and some uh, disability issues. And the father said to us, we restored that relationship. We managed all of the financial situation. And yes, the son had multiple issues and the son ended up having to go into a nursing home placement because of the strokes and his developmental disabilities. But for the last year of his life, that father and son were able to be father and son. They weren't financial, you know, I'm holding this five dollars or five hundred dollars over you they were able to reestablish that relationship the father was very very grateful to us for that the son eventually passed away but as he passed away the father and the stepmother had had a father son stepmother relationship not the not the control that they had before and so the father was very very grateful for us for that relationship and that's a hard thing to be when you're an, an elderly person trying to manage money over an adult child because that adult child wants that control they want to manage their own money and for their own reasons of their d disability or their medical disability they're not able to do so 
and it's difficult to have a parent still say, hey, you know, you have to do this. And we took, we got, we restored that relationship and we, and we were able to let them be father and son again. So that was, that was a really neat thing to watch happen. And it was interesting because when the case came in, the father was like, you're not going to be able to engage. You're not going to be able to get my son to agree to this. And the social worker had no issue with engaging the son because we weren't a threat at all to the son. When you're dealing with money, people get, there's a lot of emotion there when you deal with money. And, and, it's, and we all get emotional about our money and we all want to be able to have that dignity of making those own choices. And that's what we want the individual. Whether you're a senior, whether you're an adult that has a disability, we want you to have choice, but we also have to respect that you could be exploited, you could also not be making good choices. So to have that neutral party like us do that, it, it really helps the situation. The best way to get in contact with us at CAS, um, we, we have a website, which is one way, which is www.casdelivers.org. That's one way. Um, if you're not used to using a computer, um, you can also just directly call our offices, which is the easiest way to do. It's 513-721-4330. Um, you can ask the receptionist, and there's always someone that can talk to you in the office. Or if you're a social, on social media, we're also on Facebook, and we have a Facebook page. So there's always someone to talk to you um, between 830 and 430.